Morning ladies and gentlemen, today we are in Elk Mountain, Wyoming. Today we are actually going to be doing the landscaping series, or landscape slash lawn care series, if you would say there. Uh, so we're actually just heading over to the property. I just purchased it. I just got to remove the for sale sign so no one thinks that it's still for sale. Now in this series, we have a, we're going to be doing a ton of stuff, like a ton of things to do. And looks like we are already here. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. I'm getting off the road a bit. This person doesn't care that we're parking in his uh, yard, but it's going to have to do because we have to build up our landscaping shop. Now in today's video, we're not going to be heading over to people's properties. We're not going to be cutting no one's grass or, you know, anything else. Basically, what we're going to be doing in this series is obviously the basic lawn care series. We're going to be cutting grass, removing trees. Also, too, we might be building some houses in this series. So we're probably going to later down the road, we're going to be extending to a construction as well. Maybe just not really a lot, just building houses here and there. Yeah, we're going to be just basically buying equipment, setting up the shop, and basically getting everything ready. But this is our 3500 HD High Country. We're we're gonna be starting out with looks really good we have our John Deere zero turn and then we have our John Deere compact tractor and I really love this thing too man let me tell you without further ado I guess let's go ahead and remove this sign here and then we can go ahead and get to building and I'm gonna be leaving the fence as well because the fence actually looks really nice I like it let's go ahead and build this out and then do a time lapse for you guys Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's breaking. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that. Anyway, yeah, with that being said, we had the whole shop area and whatnot uh, built. I only built this little carport area too for the smaller equipment like the mowers and whatnot. But yeah, we're going to be... Let's go ahead and just put this equipment in the shed right now, the sh or the shops. Should be good to go after that to wait for the uh, rest of the equipment to get here. When I put this shop down here, I didn't realize there's a door over here. Fine, I guess I just won't be using it. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but this is a workshop slash garage area. We could put everything in our office to take care of everything and everybody. And quotes that we are going to be looking at, we have over... I think 400 quotes because from the last time that we did a landscaping series there's another workshop I think very nice there's a bad I didn't even know there's a back door seat see, see what I mean but anyways yeah we're gonna be using this carport for smaller equipments like just mowers and whatnot and then probably use this to park some things maybe 
and then our trailers are most likely going to go on the side now like i said for the reason being i did make that carport because we're going to be selling sheds as well i don't know when that's going to be but we just got to wait for the equipment to arrive for our sheds in the next couple of weeks or so but i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then go ahead on the computer and order more things that we're obviously gonna need Alrighty, well the shop called me i already got everything ordered they're gonna be on their way to actually deliver all the equipment and whatever we're getting some skid steers a couple more lawn mowers and i think that's pretty much it because at the moment i really don't know what to get at the moment like i said we're gonna be in a shed business selling uh sheds for people just dropping off sheds you know whatever so that's going to be another side business for our lawn care landscape business so yeah i'm going to go ahead and go wait for the dealership to drop off everything and then we'll be back with you guys here shortly Alrighty, well it's been a couple hours i got everything ordered see i got two more trailers a dump trailer and then a diamond c lawn care trailer there it's also got a custom winch on it so that's really good for the battery too i went with a dump bay because i figured it'd be easier because we're not going to be using the dump truck truck a lot which i got a dump truck and then we have a regular trademans truck for hauling that around and you know smaller equipment come over here we have a case 175th anniversary edition tv 380 skid steer very nice love to see and we got a john deere mini excavator and then we have a bobcat skid steer as well and then we have a stag uh, walk behind push mower so let's go ahead and put everything away and i did extend this out too just for the uh, shed business as well so i'm gonna go ahead and put all this away Alrighty, and that should be all the equipment. Um, if you guys could think of anything, let me know down in the comment section below because I'm sure I'm missing a lot of the equipment. I know I got the mower, the compact tractor with the 72-inch deck. That's going to come in handy a lot, trust me. We got the dump truck, F550 Super Duty. We have the mini excavator. We have the TC3 TV380, my bad. Uh, skid steer, we got the other skid steer in there, the Bobcat. Then we got the Skag in there. And then we have the dump trailer and then the Diamond C lawn care trailer with the winds just in case, you know, we get started stuck or you know we find something interesting along a property if we end up buying one and flipping it i think that's going to be all for today's video if you guys did enjoy let me know down in the comments section and i'll catch you guys in the next episode i go straight from the bank gassing up the tank cranking up the radio